I normally don't do this videos, but um, I was after I did the video this evening, I, I prayed the rosary and I usually have this icon in front of me and our lady here, the statue. And I, I usually try to make my prayer as personal as possible. And afterwards, I was asking Christ, you know, all the stuff that comes to you in prayer. Um, and and um, I, after reflecting on the on on reading about uh, Jacques uh, Frisch, the that that um, French person that 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 uh, you know he found redemption in prison, and I was asking Christ, and he said to me, "I said, man, you don't know how much." My father loves you. And oftentimes we, we have this image of God that's um, that's distant, that, uh, oh, as soon as you fall into sin or do something that, oh, you're off to hell and uh, that he wants to push us away from us. And we really don't understand the intensity, the intensity of God's love, you know, the intensity of what he's trying to do in our lives. And I'll keep saying this in every video. Prayer is the greatest proof of God's existence. Prayer is the greatest proof of God's existence. If only we could open souls to prayer. If only we could lead them to prayer. If only we, because once you experience this. And I'll say to you, I'll say to you something. Christ isn't meager in his love. He's not, oh, I'm only, I'm only going to give you a little bit of this. What stops, what stops us experiencing his love is the barriers we put up. Oh, I'm not, I'm not vulnerable. I'm, I'm too afraid. Oh, no, I can't be loved like him, like Robert is saying. I can't know him. No, that's only for special people. That's only for these mystics and these saints and these, these people. No, Christ can't do that in my life because I'm just a Joe so and I've committed this sin and that sin and this sin. Have faith. Have faith. Read the gospel. Be like a child. Do what he tells you to do. His, his, it's really quite amazing. His love knows no bounds his love i mean it's it's just it's it's how do you say it he he just wants to pour out this love on us if only we, we we'd be like a child and let ourselves receive his love and i know this is difficult because it's the leap of faith is this you know you have to take this kind of step into the to the unknown to allow yourself to be loved by the divine love but his love is just pouring it out if only we would go to him humbly and ask him lord heal me lord heal my heart and he does he does i could only say this you know i know and i speak to my heart you know and i was doing this blog a few months ago and said look Maybe I'll write this down and you can all read it when I'm dead. I don't care what anybody thinks about me or feels about me or thinks I'm crazy. It's a happy craziness to be in, to be loved by my God. It's a happy craziness. And if I am crazy, I don't think I'm not. I think I speak, I'm a I'm level-headed man, 50 years old now, who's able to say, I know who loves me. I know who has loved me. I know who has loved me all my life. And I know what he says is true. I know what he did is true and what he says is true. And when he, when Christ says to me, you don't know how much my father loves you. And then he puts the the parable of the prodigal son, like it's like the it's like a movie putting into your life. He said, Robert, reflect on this. In the parable of the products, you don't know how much my father loves you. That's God's love. He just wants to rain it down on us. If we were vulnerable enough like a child to say, Lord, reveal yourself to me. Lord, heal me. Lord, heal me. Can I give another tip to people that are struggling with prayer? Make a prayer room. A lady gave me this um this this icon of Our Lady, which is simply amazing. And 
she'll know who she is. Thank you so much. And I have the statue here from the Sisters of Bethlehem in France. Um, you know, I have the, a few icons here, um, Greek art um, from Maldatus from Lago d'Orta. Um, this is the my miraculous <laughs> icon here uh, that, uh, you know, from where I got the calling to renew the Eucharist. You know, make your make a prayer room, make it personal. You know, there was this um, movement in the early church to destroy icons, the iconoclastic um, um, heresy that, oh, no, we can't have. We can't have images of our Lord, that this is uh, idolatry. No, it's not. Christ wants to make himself visibly present in our lives. And, and this will help you pray. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you this message. I know it's, you can you can discern yourself. The church always discern, always know the faith. Don't let yourselves be led astray. Don't let yourselves uh, know the faith. But Christ isn't meager with his love for us. You know, and the Father loves us, you know, that, 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 that intimacy with God, that, that, he's just so real, so real. And I said, and I put in this video so that you know that, at least I've said it, at least I said it so that people know that there is hope, that there is redemption, that there is the love of the Father, that there is heaven, a God that's waiting for us to heal us, to help us, to love us. And, um. And the more people that will understand this, the more they will find the true meaning of themselves, of life and all this. And this all ties into dairy for some reason. Anyway, God bless. Take care. Bye bye.